So I just saw The Bike Riders. Let me tell you if it's worth seeing. If you don't already know what this film's about, it's about Kathy, played by Jodie Comer, having a chance encounter with Benny, played by Austin Butler at a bar. These two, they fall in love with each other, but Benny is the newest member of this biker gang in the middle of Chicago. So now you have the situation where Benny ends up having to pick between Kathy or Johnny, played by Tom Hardy, and the biker gang. The issue with this film is that it could have presented Benny as this really passionate character, somebody who's passionate both about Kathy and about the biker gang. But instead it presents Benny as this character who's nonchalant and doesn't really care about either. He comes off just like this character that wants to ride a bike, doesn't care how it's happening, it's just that the biker gang is an excuse to ride that bike. What the film does try to do in the most compelling part of this film is this sort of love triangle going on where both Kathy and then Johnny, played by Tom Hardy like I said before, are going after Austin Butler, Benny, you know, and both like Tom Hardy is trying to lure him to the gang and lure him to be a bigger part of the gang while Kathy just wants him to spend more time with her and put more time into their relationship. And that love triangle aspect is by far the most interesting aspect of this film. But instead, this film doesn't spend enough time on that love triangle situation because that's only 50% of this movie. The other 50% is this vibes kind of film where you are just learning more about the gang and the people who are a part of this gang, but you don't learn enough about individual people to be able to care about them on a super, super deep level. You just kind of know who they are and recognize their faces. And a lot of this is shown through the interview aspect of this film where Mike Faced plays, I think, the photographer who made the book that this film is based off of. And Faced takes pictures of the bikers and interviews them, and that is the 50% of the film where you learn about the characters. And in my opinion, the much less interesting side of this film. Personally, I think that that could have been a really good movie, but you needed to give it like an entire movie's worth of attention and really lean into just the vibes aspect of it. Go a little bit more of an easy rider style kind of a film. You know, the counterculture and you know, the being an outsider, but then you come together and you are strong together as outsiders. But the issue is that because you have that aspect plus the love triangle aspect, they just collide too much. You never get enough of one or the other for either to be super compelling. So what you're left with is this mixed film with two interesting directions it could have gone, but not picking either, trying to stay directly in the middle. I still had a good time, don't get me wrong, and a lot of that is because of the performances here. Jodie Comer, I think this is her movie. Her accent is amazing. Her in the interviews, just that sort of casual feel that she goes for, but just also the kind of living in that biker world and seeing her in it, I found to just be so interesting. And really, like, yeah, her performance was great. The ones that more people will probably talk about are, of course, Austin Butler and Tom Hardy. Austin Butler is Austin Butler. He's a fantastic actor. He's great in this film. Tom Hardy has a cool accent. He's also really good in this film. And I appreciated them both. But sadly, those great performances just aren't enough to necessarily outweigh the mixed bag of a story. Also, we just don't get enough bikes in this film, in my opinion. I feel like we had a couple of decent biking sequences, but I really would have loved just a solid three to five minute sequence of just biking. No story, no anything, just biking. And maybe that's because I love Easy Rider. Like, I love that movie and wish that this film tried to be a little more like Easy Rider and a little less like Goodfellas. But oh well. 
I know most of this review is negative, but this film was still pretty cool. I like motorcycles. I like these characters. They were all cool. It was cool to spend some time with them, watching them on the big screen. But it just really pains me because this could have been a great film and instead they only made an okay three star movie. But what about all of you? What did you think of this film? Did you like this film more than me? Did you also not necessarily love this film? Please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to start up a discussion. I try to respond to all my comments. While you're down there, feel free to like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do to support this channel. It means the world. I'll see you all in the next movie review. Take care.